Hey, what's going on guys? It's Chris from Daily Tech, and today I'm gonna to be talking about the new Xbox One S controller. Now the changes are actually pretty slight compared to the last generation controller, but at the same time, I would say they're definitely some enhancements. So the first thing that you're gonna notice is obviously the new color scheme that matches the Xbox One S, and along with that, a more streamlined design. Personally, I prefer this look over the previous model, but it's just gonna come down to opinion. So the new textured grip is probably the first thing that you would notice when you hold this in your hands, and I think it's a useful addition, especially for people who might sweat a little bit more while they're playing, uh, I suppose, but at the same time, I don't think it's gonna drastically change anybody's game playing abilities. And I actually have to disagree wholeheartedly with CNET's review trashing this new controller. In no way does the new controller feel cheaper than the older model. And also the buttons, the triggers, and the D-pad, they all are very tactile. Plus the control sticks are now made of a slightly more durable material, so it's really a win all the way around. Now the new controller is sporting Bluetooth connectivity, and that's actually a pretty cool thing. First off, Microsoft says that this will give you up to twice the range of the previous controller. Now why you would need that much space, I have no idea, but I actually did test that, and I had someone stand in front of the TV while I walked away with the controller, and they let me know when it got disconnected. And when I measured the space back to the console, it actually was really close to that 40 foot range. But aside from that extra range, the Bluetooth also means that you should be able to easily connect this controller to something like your PC or even a tablet or phone. Now, in my testing, I was able to pair it with my computer no problem at all. But I actually ran into some issues trying to get it paired up with two different iPads, one iPad Pro and then also an iPad mini. It wouldn't show up in the Bluetooth list for either of those devices. And at first I thought on the iPad Pro, it might've just been because I was running the iOS 10 beta, but when it didn't work on the iPad mini, then I knew it just was having some issues. That's kind of a bummer because I didn't get to test it for this video for games that work with external controllers on the iPad, like Call of Duty Strike Force or even Halo Spartan Assault. But one thing I'm pretty certain of is that this is gonna be working really well really soon because Microsoft seems to be gearing up to bring Xbox game streaming to both iOS and Android. Unfortunately, Xbox gamers still don't have the option with this new controller to wirelessly recharge. That's something that's kind of annoying, so you're still gonna be stuck with those energizers or Duracells. Now, personally, I really like this redesigned look. The white and the black go really well together, and like I always say, if it looks like a Stormtrooper, I'm probably gonna be on board. But the one thing that's kind of a bummer here is that that white is going to show dirt and grime a lot quicker and just more in general. So I've already seen some spots showing up on here. I have no idea how they got there. I've barely had this thing for over a week, but that's just gonna happen. So that's a very brief overview of the new Xbox One S controller. I hadn't seen many videos going into much detail or showing this thing up close and personal. So hopefully that was useful to you. If it was, go ahead and hit subscribe. I would love to hang out in future videos talking tech with you. And also don't forget to enter the international Xbox giveaway that I'm hosting with a few other awesome tech channels too. I'll put that link down below. All right guys, thanks for watching today and don't forget to check me out on Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and make sure to stop by daily tech spelled daily T-E-K-K dot com as well. And I'll catch up with you guys later.